The following program is a public service of Gulf Coast State College, WKGC, and Commodore Productions. And now, the Military Hour with Carrie Dieter. Welcome to Military Hour. Today's special guest is Dave Jansen, and Dave is a Veterans uh, Services Specialist here at Gulf Coast State College, and he's got a plethora of information to share with us today. And not stealing your thunder, what do you want to start off with? Because there's a lot coming up here with Veterans Day ahead of us. Well, first of all, we got tomorrow we have uh, early registration for all our students that use uh, VA benefits. It's the one day where <laughs> they're the only ones that can sign up for classes. They have to do it on campus. It'll be from 8 o'clock to uh, 5.30, which is something new that we've done this, this semester. Because a lot of people have to work. We usually close at 4. So we extended the hours by an hour and a half. So we've got the advisors are going to be open. Enrollment services will be open. And then <clears throat> my office, so we can get them all taken care of. And the, if they register early, that way their benefits continue. There's no interruption, or there shouldn't be right. any interruption with benefits. And they uh, not waiting until the last minute can get the class that they want. What, what about vets that are coming on campus for the first time to enroll or, or, or start early uh, in the enrollment process? What building do they actually need to go to? They need to go to Student Union East, Student to Union our East. Military Veteran Resource Office. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's where I'm located, and uh, Dr. Ramitas, who's the director, <coughs> we're both in there, and we can get them started. We've got work studies that'll take them back to our resource room and get them logged on to computers. If they don't have an e-benefits account, we'll get them set up with that. We'll get them to VONAP, which is the application yep. process. I'm familiar so we, with VONAP, yep. We can get them all, everything done at the same time, and then we can get their classes, do their deferments, one-stop shop and they're done. Good deal. Student Union East Building. Correct. So make sure you get there. And the hours, again, are starting at 8? 8 tomorrow morning till 5.30. Till 5.30. Mm -hmm. And then our normal operating hours are from 8 to 4, Monday through Friday. So you help the veterans traverse the, the VA educational benefit system? and, and we, we get them into that. We go through, depending, there's several different GI bills out there. One specifically for uh, dependents whose sponsor, the parent, uh, was disabled. They might be entitled to benefits, so there's an education benefit for them. For the uh, veteran themselves, we've got Montgomery GI Bill, we've got the post 9-11, and then we also have selective reserves for those that are in the reserves. So we try to get them the best fit for them, and then uh, I make sure that their classes are according to their degree plan, so they don't take anything and waste any of their precious time that they have right. on their GI Bill. Sure. And uh, get them towards, get their degree here. If they want to go somewhere else, we get them set up with that so they, they get in there. Are all those uh, programs time sensitive, uh, regardless of what program it is, say Montgomery or Montgomery's post 9 Montgomery is 10 years from the time that they got out of the military, mm -hmm. and post 9-11 is 15 years. And then the uh, dependents educational assistance, uh, there are timelines on that, and it varies, but normally for uh, children of the, of the uh, um, military member, it is when, as soon as they turn 26, those benefits stop. Right, the VA will see. stop them on their 26th birthday, and they're just yeah. out of luck unless we can get an appeal through. Yeah, I understand. Uh, do you see, or in, in your experience, do you see a lot of veterans taking advantage of what's available to them as far as, uh, you know, enhancing their education or furthering their education? We have probably over 200 veterans here on campus, and they, they vary from age. Some of them are uh, early 20s, and then you got people like me that are in their 60s. Right. Uh, or just turned 60. Me, me yeah. included. I went years back on, on a program, so. It is, it's worth it. They take it. They need to take advantage of it. It's something that they've earned. And a lot of times the jobs that we're taught in the military, we can't perform on the outside. Right. So you, it gives you the chance to get that training. Uh, we've got excellent programs here at Gulf Coast. You, know, you can get your Associate of Science. You can get certificate programs. We've got our Associate of Arts. And with the Associate of Arts, you can, I call it the transfer track. Uh, if you want to specialize in pharmacology, 
it, it will get you all the classes you need to transfer over to FSU, University of Florida, any Florida uh, university. We have those. And then we also help them if they want to go to uh, another state. We have one of our work studies that was accepted into Auburn. Huh. So we made sure that he got the catalog from Auburn, talked to a counselor there saying these are your required classes that you have to have to get into your special program. So we make sure that we, we can do that. And sometimes we have to call and say, hey, this class is required for this school. Yeah, I know it's not in this program, but we need to let him take it. So yeah, we and, work with him. And that, the help here at Gulf Coast, from my experience uh, doing it, because I went under uh, what was called uh, Von App. Mm -hmm. uh, I was on that. Uh, anyways, um, not being familiar with the college itself, I was very impressed with all the help that I got. And, and everybody was very knowledgeable and made it seamless, made it easy for me to not only get in the classes that I needed, but to make sure that the benefit uh, was, was uh, handled properly uh, without delay. Not that there can't be delays, but mine was, was handled very efficiently. And I, overall, I was absolutely pleased, very pleased. Oh, I can't. The, the instructors, the department chairs, the administrative staff, they, they really bend over backwards they to do. help us out and they understand that certain veterans you know we have they have special needs mm -hmm. uh, disability support who's changing their name uh, but they've really helped us out with some of our veterans and uh, also our other students that we have uh, it's just a matter of calling up the uh, the instructor saying they have they have problems or we need to get one person in this class can you fit them in or they were something happened and they didn't get in, they, they were in or dropped, they, they get them in and they, they help us out. Uh, I, I can't say enough about them. I've been to several different colleges as a student and I think this, this one rates right at the top. It does. In fact, I was going to say when, when, uh, when Gulf Coast State College says they're military friendly, that's not just something they say. They actually are military friendly. Uh, I wouldn't be here doing this had I not gone through the certificate program that I did here. And uh, so this is just like an added bonus. I, obviously, I'm not a professional at this. Don't propose to be or ever want to be. I'm just an old guy that wants to help vets any way that I can and get information out there. So if, they're, if you're contemplating return to school, come on out to Gulf Coast State College. This is the place to do it. This, it's, the classes are small, mm -hmm. the instructors are great, and it gets you back into it without jumping into a university setting where you're thrown into a classroom with a hundred and some people and you right. just become a number. Here you're actually a student and, and they care about you and they, they follow through. And uh, it, it's a very unique setting and it's a good way for veterans that have been out for out of classroom for a while to get back into the groove of things. And we've got the support system here in place to help us all out and we get them through. Everybody here wants to see, it doesn't matter whether you're a veteran or just fresh out of high school, they want to see everybody succeed. Yep. Go across the street or go to another university or get your certificate or get your AS. Yep. And, and that's, I think, very unique to this college. Yeah, and, and again, and I can only go by my own experience, um, and being older, I'm thinking, geez, now how's this gonna work? How's this gonna sit, you know? And, but. Everybody from the younger students to older students like myself, all the instructors, the professors, just stellar. R really good people. It's a great, great campus and a good it, school. It is, and, and they've allowed us to expand. Um, like I said, we've got a lot of things coming up here real quick. Uh, we've got the Student Veterans Association mm -hmm. back up and running. We're affiliated with the National Student Veterans of America. Um, We've held a couple organizational meetings. Actually, today at 12:30 in uh, our resource room, we're doing elections and also voting on the bylaws. And these guys know what they want to go with it, and they're going to run with it. And it's open to any veteran, student veteran, anybody using GI Bill, and also other students that if they want to come in and support them. And they're going to start doing some really good things here on campus. So and, it's exciting. and in fact, and I've been in, in your section, uh, you've all done a wonderful job back there with the setup, the way you've got it laid out and everything else with the computers and, and 
they're just a great resource for veterans. It's a great place for them to study, to come together. Yeah. Um, we've had study groups in there. They can get into some pretty crazy discussions. <laughs> um, but we've, we get 20 to 30 students in there a day. Uh, there's a refrigerator for them, a yep. microwave. We've got uh, the foundation has really been great with us. They've provided us with snacks. <clears throat> so these guys, if they're here late, they can eat. Uh, they're just snack on food. Got a huge TV screen uh, <clears throat> that they can watch. Uh, we've got speakers that are going to be coming in here soon. So good. Yeah, I remember when it was under construction. I would sneak around there every now and then to just see how it was going and everything. I said, and they made good progress in, in pretty quick time. I thought, and it, it turned out better than I thought it would. And it's just a, a good good area inside the, the the building over there. I'll plug Dr. Holnack on that. He's the yeah, there you he, go. he came in and he said I, we need a place for our veterans, and he said figure it out, figure out what you want, and he made it happen. Um, facilities came in, did their thing. The ITs came in. Um, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Bishop made sure it got done. So. We're happy with it, but I think we're, we're busting at the seams. I was going to say, outgrowing it already. <laughs> we are, and so who knows what's going to happen. Yeah. Hopefully something good is going to come out of this. Oh, I hope so. And, and especially with the area being so um, populated with veterans, uh, a lot of people come here and retire, which is what I did, but a lot of the younger uh, troops that are ending their careers, when I say younger, I'm talking, you know, like 40, 45-year-old, uh, family uh, troops, men and women, uh, they want to stay here because of the closeness of the military community uh, and all the service organizations that are around. Uh, so that should bode well for uh, students coming in. Well, there's a lot, of, a lot of incentives yeah. to come here. Uh, Education-wise, like I said, it's just a really great place to start. You know, uh, start here, go anywhere. That, that's very true. Uh, the state of Florida, if you're using the GI Bill and you reside in the state of Florida, you don't have to, they waive the residency requirements yep. so you get in state tuition. Um, there, there's just so many opportunities for them, and not just here at Gulf Coast, but in the state of Florida. Sure. So Florida's really a military friendly state, and uh, it helps. Yeah, I don't know where Florida ranks as far as military retirees in the nation, but it's probably right up close to the top. Uh, it's up there. I think it's like California, Florida, Virginia, but those are yeah, the big places yeah, for the military exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that's uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> they it's there. I would say it's probably one of the top three to five. Yeah, I, I would guess probably top three. I think you're you're hit the nail on the head with that one. Yeah. For sure. So. Uh, what else we got going? We got Veterans Week coming up. Yep. And finally, I'm not. I don't want to say finally. A um, little bit of history. When I got here, uh, didn't see anything done for Veterans Day. I sort of smoke came out of the ears, and I mentioned it. And as people said, "Well, we'll do something." Uh, last year, we walked in the parade, the Veterans Day parade. And I was still sitting there going, "Oh, it's got to be bigger. Got to be bigger." So this year, we're really starting. We're going to, Gulf Coast is going to say thank you to the veterans, student veterans that we have here on campus. <clears throat> There's activities going on. Each department is doing something special, um, whether it's a sign or uh, like uh, social science is going to be out. Uh, they're going to help with the letter writing campaign that's getting started uh, that they do every year. They write letters to yeah. send them to the uh, active duty or the <clears throat> folks that are deployed. And they're going to be out there. They're going to be available for questions on classes and, and everything. Uh, drama department is doing a play, and then the, the Veterans Day itself, the 11th of uh, November, it's free admission for is that veterans okay. here on campus. Where, where is it going to be at on campus, at Amelia? And the Amelia Center. Uh, basketball game, it's the uh, it's going to be free admission. We also have one of the. Junior ROTC unit's going to be coming to do the colors for us. Good deal. And we got a veteran that's going to do tip off, and uh, so that's exciting. We've got a cake cutting on Wednesday uh, in the student union east, the cafeteria. 
And then uh, the foundation's putting on a luncheon for our veterans. It'll be in our resource room. Uh, I attended the one last year. Sure did. Up upstairs. Yes, this sir, one's going to be downstairs. It's <laughs> just going to be for our students, uh, provided by the foundation. So that's that's going to be exciting. Um, I I know there's more. Uh, <laughs> Library is doing some stuff for us. Uh, mathematics or not math? Uh, natural science science departments doing some things. Um, it's actually being kicked off with early registration. The advisors doing their thing for us. Um, doing half price for the bricks for the Memorial Park. Now there's a question that I, just because I don't know, the, the Memorial Park with all the construction and the flyover, is that going to remain or is that going to have to be moved? Do you know? What I've been told, Dave? it's going to remain. And well, good. Uh, I hope so. Because a lot of people are buying bricks. Yeah, well, yeah, and of course and it's, it's a it's, nice place. Yeah, and it's not that old, you know. We, of course, I was here for the dedication along with a lot of other people, but I was just wondering about that because you know I, I traverse back and forth from in town and the beach and everything else, and and I keep, I look over and I go, gee, I wonder if it's going to stay or if it's going to be moved. Last so, I was told, it's staying. Well, and, I hope so. And we do uh, every year. We do the uh, ride to remember. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that'll be coming up, yep. but that's next year. I participate uh, in that also. In May, I think. Um, I know I'm forgetting some people that are doing stuff for us. Um, basketball, cake cutting, yeah. Uh, Welcome Center. Couple, oh, yeah. They <coughs> said, come on, they want the veterans to come in and sit down with them and talk. And Matt coffee. Standish. So yep. they're going to take care of them. Oh, the down, Gulf Coast. Oh, okay. Uh, VBOC, VBOC business, yep. business is doing, actually I think it starts next week, they're doing something. So to the, every department's doing something for them, so it's, it's kind of exciting. And then next year we're hoping to be even bigger. We're going to start planning that uh, Good deal. as soon as this Veterans Day is over. Plus we're doing the parade. Um, we've got our student veterans walking in the parade, and we've also got faculty, staff, uh, from what I gathered, someone told me there's already 47 faculty and staff going to participate this year. Now that's fabulous. We have the uh, what was it? Uh, the Tommy Tommy Thomas American uh -huh. Legion unit is going to walk with us, so they they do a lot of sponsoring for us. So we're going to get out deal. there. And, you know, a lot of these veterans have never. They've come from either Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, some Gulf War, yep. uh, the Kuwait. Uh, returned and never got a proper thank you. So this right. is, this is our way to say thank you to them, you know. So and they deserve it. Of course you know. they do. Yeah. You know they. I think we should say thank you. Every veteran deserves it. Yeah. So Sto stood up, took the oath, up to and including my life if necessary. So yeah. And it's, uh, you know, Veterans Day is a day to say thank you to a veteran. Memorial Day is to remember those who have fallen. And uh, yes, sir, we need to get correct. back to remembering what those days are for, and this is one way Gulf Coast uh, is going to do it. Yeah, it's not about a uh, hamburger and a hot dog on the grill. No, no or right. discounts at stores, you know. It's, yeah, it's yeah. Not, no. No, it's not the Veterans Day sale. It's, let's remember the veterans. Absolutely, yep. If it wouldn't be for the veterans, where would we be? Uh, we wouldn't enjoy the freedoms we do enjoy. True that. Yeah, for sure. So. I, I tell you, I, I love Gulf Coast State College, not just because I'm here doing this, just because of the way I've been treated, the way I see everybody else treated here, it's just stellar. I mean, they, they're interested in you, they care about your uh, education and your advancement, and uh, it's just a good place to be. It is. You look at what's going on tonight, they have, um, where they've reached out to students that just didn't complete their degree. Mm -hmm. They're having them come back saying, you're, you're nine hours away from getting a degree. Yeah, you're this close. What can we do? And they're actually reaching out. They've reached out to these students saying, come on, let, let's get this finished. We're here to help you. We're going to hold your hand. We'll get you across that finish line. Yeah. And uh, I think that's, that's... That's caring. If that doesn't show them that the institution cares about them and their future, I don't know how else you could demonstrate it. It, it is. It's... It, and it, you hear Dr. Holnack say this is community college, and it is. It's the it's the community's college, yeah. and uh, uh, it's a great place. I like I said, I've been to 
I can think of five colleges off the top of my head, and this the, and it's probably the best one that I've I've been associated with. Well, this I haven't is only my third, other, so <laughs> never worked at the other colleges. I was always yeah. on the student side, and now this one they they reach out, they care about you, and, and which is good. Yeah, well, it's what matters. It you, is. you can you can tell. I mean, even if you're going out for a meal somewhere, you can tell if the the staff cares for you or doesn't care for you in their establishment. You know, I mean, face it, it's that way with everything. You, you can tell it does. whether they do or whether they don't, but they do here. And they, even when you spend, you know, you have, like the day we come back from uh, Christmas break or the <coughs> last day of registration before <coughs> term starts, you know, some of these people are here 12 hours helping these students get into class. Oh, yeah, not and uncommon. And they do it with a smile. They, yep. they don't hear anything bad. Yep. That, that to me is is a testament to how well the school is is run and and how how well and I'm going to say hiring practices uh, are handled here. Uh, so somebody's doing an outstanding job. It is, and it's it's the faculty and staff. It's the right. people that make you know they're the bricks and mortar of the college. So it's they're the foundation, and then the students you add build on top of that yep. and it's, it's good you know we've had veterans that uh, have moved back into town and now they want their kids to go and they say what, what do you have available and we say did you transfer your GI Bill to them are you disabled we try to find them something sure. and if they tell them no you know go do your FAFSA you know I'll put a plug in for financial aid right. there's ways to get you some money in the foundation you know let's, sure. let's get you back in so, and we're also looking at trying to grow to where maybe we can start, the uh, student veterans and us can start doing a, a scholarship specifically for uh, military dependents where they don't have the financial means. They make maybe just a little bit too much to qualify for Pell, but they can't afford to right. send their son or daughter to school. So you and I might need there. to discuss uh, a little something with one of the organizations that I'm involved with. Uh, and uh, we'll do that. It's, it's specifically for uh, scholarships for children of uh, either POW or MIAs. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's not rigorous to, to be able to get the, the funds uh, under that program, but we will we'll talk about that. And I was going to say, a good example of the way things are handled here at Gulf Coast State College, this morning's a good example. I didn't know, you didn't know, that a couple of the people that are normally here putting these things together before we start, well, one is ill and one is on task somewhere else. And what happens? Somebody steps right up, comes right in, does all the preliminaries that need to be done so that we can be here to do this, to get information out to the veteran community. So there's just another example of how everybody steps up to help here at Gulf Coast State College. So that impresses me more than anything. It does. Thanks, yeah. Caleb. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, it's, it's it's that way. I think throughout the campus. Yeah. And uh, you, they reach out and help. Uh, they they'll call you up. Hey, do you need anything? Or we've got this going on. Would your any of your students be interested? In? So we're we're always getting something. You know, we, so I'm impressed. And I've only been here three years. So. Three years. Yeah, I believe I met you uh, three years ago in the old uh, radio, radio station, station, correct? Yeah. I'm trying to dig something out of my memory here, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. We but. seem to be doing this about every year, right right around this time. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's good. Just trying to plug to get the vet, you know, people using GI Bill in for registration and uh, reach out to the community. Let's get... Now, I don't know how large a staff uh, you have, but and, and let's see, Dr. Ramitas, is it? That is Dr. the head. Dr. Ramitas, she, she oversees she's head. here and Tyndall. And Tyndall. And Tyndall. We have, we have a um, coordinator for military services. She's, she does TA, tuition assistance out at Tyndall. Uh, we've expanded. We have the Navy folks coming to the base here. Good deal. So we're, we're making sure that they get their TA properly done because the Navy, mm -hmm. uh, they got rid of their educational service offices. Everything's done online. So it's oh. a little, it can be a little overwhelming for some students. Um, they don't have the assistance that they used to have. 
uh, you, every base you went to, you could walk into your ESO and yeah. they'd get you through the paperwork and everything for your TA to get approved. Hmm. So we we'll are encourage them to come here. We'll do it for them. We'll get them all set up. We've got Marines coming here. We've got Army folks. So all right, we've seen an increase in our active duty, which is good. Yeah, <laughs> that good. was one thing I pushed when I was in the military. <laughs> Telling my my sailors, you know, get your college degree. Don't don't do like I did and wait till your last couple of years. Yeah. You know, you've got TA. Get your get your general ed knocked out of the way. Sure, sure makes sense. And I understand uh, that a lot of these services now are doing more online with the educational uh, requirements. I've got a, a young major that is, is a real close brother and friend of mine, and. Uh, He's telling me he's got like 13 months to go through this one thing, and he's got to get it done, and it's it's pretty formidable. And and I'm thinking, I think I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. It, it's really changed. Uh, towards the end of my career in the Navy, we were able to take online classes while we were deployed and on a ship. And I, yeah. I remember when you used to have to do everything by snail mail, and they yeah. would bring the instructor out to the ship, and you'd, you'd do your classes there. Uh, even deployed over in the Gulf, people are able to do classes. Um, the military really pushes the education, which is, I'm glad to see. Well, it's a good thing. And yeah, cause you you a need thing. a college degree. And of course. Uh, advancement is easier. I, I can speak for the Navy. Advancement's easier if, if you have your degree <laughs> or education behind you. And plus it looks good on resumes. Absolutely does that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, For sure. But online, I think, is the way the military is really going Yeah. <clears throat> to, to get your education. Well, we're definitely in the information age, the digital information age. For all the good that it is and for all the bad that it is, we just have to make sure we stay towards that good good side of it. So. And it, it's easier for, for students. It, it is. Because they can work around their schedule. Um, the problem, like with the GI Bill post 9-11, you have to have at least one of your classes on campus. And they have to be careful because we have what's called hybrid classes, and the VA says all your hybrid classes are web considered web-based. Ah. So that cuts their benefits in half. Uh huh. If Didn't know that. If they're doing uh, all, all web classes. And and you help I steer think, them away from that type situation. I'm sure. I have sure. to look at every schedule that comes through. Yeah. I, I verify that the classes are in their degree plan, and then I ensure that you know they meet the requirements so they can get the max benefits that they're entitled to. All right, guys and gals, you need to come on out starting, did you say tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow at 8 08? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. We'll be there till uh, 5.30. And then uh, starting Tuesday of next week, I believe it's Tuesday. Yeah, tomorrow, 28 rest. October at 08 in the morning. Early registration for people using VA benefits. Yes, for veterans only. Anybody using VA benefits yeah. and veterans? Uh, Roger, I got we it. We do have veterans that are not using VA benefits sure. that are going to school here. Yeah, good deal. But I'll tell you what, um, I'm just excited about everything that's going on here, not only in the community, but on, on campus here at Gulf Coast State College, and I'm thankful to be here. Good to see you again. All right, thank you for the You're opportunity. You're looking good? Absolutely, yeah. anytime. And please give my best to Dr. Ramides and uh, it's not radio, it's uh, going to be on the TV. Yeah, I'm going to chew her out. And that. YouTube, so <laughs> you got set up, right? Uh, yeah, I got set up. <laughs> Thanks again, Dave. Right, Appreciate it you. very much. All right.